Ostwald's process. Here we have four chambers, namely catalyst chamber, cooling tower, oxidizing chamber and absorption tower. A mixture of pure dry ammonia gas and dry dust-free air in the ratio of 1 is to 10 is fed into the catalyst chamber. In the presence of the platinum gauze at 700 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius, the ammonia is oxidized to nitric oxide. This is an exothermic reaction. This nitric oxide gas is allowed to pass through the cooling tower and the gas is cooled to 50 degrees Celsius. The cooled nitric oxide is now allowed to pass into the oxidizing chamber. This chamber has an inlet for fresh oxygen. Here, nitric oxide combines with oxygen to forming nitrogen dioxide. Two molecules of NO plus one molecule of O2 gives two molecules of NO2, that is, nitrogen dioxide. This nitrogen dioxide and non-reacted oxygen then flows into the absorption tower which is a stainless steel tower packed with acid resistant quartz. Here water is sprinkled from the top so it slowly trickles to the layer of quartz. The water dissolves with nitrogen dioxide and non-reacted oxygen to give dilute nitric acid. Four molecules of NO2 and two molecules of H2O and one molecule of O2 gives four molecules of HNO3. Dilute nitric acid can be synthesized from ammonia via the Ostwald's process. A mixture of ammonia and air is passed through a catalyst chamber where ammonia is oxidized to nitric oxide. This nitric oxide is passed to the cooling chamber where it gets cooled and then enters the oxidization chamber which is connected to an oxygen inlet. Here, nitric oxide combines with oxygen forming nitrogen dioxide. This nitrogen dioxide is allowed to pass through the absorption tower where the nitrogen dioxide is dissolved by water forming dilute nitric acid.